Hello friends, good evening, good evening, very good evening. So today I am going to show you something which you are and you must be waiting for a long time. Yes, as you can see on my screen, I am going to show you step by step procedure for creating or building a new b2b commerce website in salesforce on lightning experience from scratch yes so all these steps are mentioned in the ppt in uh, along with the snapshots in a very brief and uh, proper ma manner so uh, just pay attention to what i am saying now don't worry, I will share you the PPT in the comment section of this video uh, in few minutes. Okay. So just to give you the overall, a brief overview of Salesforce B2B Commerce Lightning Experience, that is in short, I will call Lex from now. Lex means Lightning Experience. So uh, what I am going to show you is how you can build a new B2B Commerce website in Salesforce in just 20 minutes, not sorry, 20 minutes, in just 20 steps, maximum 120 minutes, and then you will be the master. Okay. So, uh, as you can see on my screen, yes, I've been going to set up the Salesforce for B2B Commerce on Lightning Experience. And uh, just a brief, brief overview of, intro about myself. I am uh, Rahul Krishan. I am uh, Salesforce B2B on Lightning Administrator certified and I am also a developer certified and I am also a platform developer one certified. I am looking for more certifications in coming days. So hopefully um, let's hope for the best and uh, you can connect me on my LinkedIn profile. So I have shared my LinkedIn profile ID with you. All right, so let me uh, show you what something very exciting, yes, especially for women. So I have created a new B2B commerce website in Lex for the jewelry store. Yes, so um, I know jewelry is a very interesting topic for especially for women. So this is, as you can see, the Swarovski, um, uh, Swarovski uh, store, not store, basically this is the factory. So uh, that is in Austria. So I have been there a few years back, approximately 10 years back from now. So just I got some idea to share you this, uh, create this video and share you the all these steps for creating and building the b2b commerce website from scratch all right so let me um let me proceed to next slide yes so i will give you a very brief overview you can um once you start creating the website just uh, follow these steps I have mentioned each and every step along with the images. So I don't think you will find any issue or any problem, but even if you find any issue or any problem, then um, just uh, please, uh, free, please feel free to contact me or maybe you can post your comment in the video section below and I will reply you there. Okay. So uh, what you have to do is just I will give you over a brief overview of these steps now. Otherwise, uh, the video will get very long. Okay. So what we have to do is don't worry just uh, about anything. Okay. You have developer or you create normal developer or in Salesforce. Let me show you also. Let me show a brief glimpse of that. Let me one second. All right, so this is my, all right. So what we have to do is you, even if you have sandbox or not have, don't, uh, not having sandbox, that is you have simple plain or developer or 
don't worry you can create your b2b commerce website on your developer org as well and uh, no need for any paid licensing it is free of cost and this is my developer org only as you can see on my screen this is my developer org all right so what you have to do is simply you have to create a developer edition or which is already pre i have created and which i think you can create very easily in just not more than five minutes the steps are mentioned if on the google you just enter that create a developer edition or in salesforce you will find all the steps it's not it will not take more than five ten minutes maximum all right then what you have to do is you have to enable the experience cloud sites so go to setup digital experiences and then settings all right so this is my setup what i will do is i will enter the digital experiences so in this setup i will enter the digital experiences all right and then i will go to settings so i will go to settings okay all right so now team uh sorry now friends uh what you have to do is once you go to the settings you have to enable the digital experience checkbox which you will find at the top of the window so once i go to settings see now i am not able to view this uh, checkbox because i have already enabled the digital experience in my org so this this is only a one time activity so once you enable this then it will not come again all right so don't be don't get panic it's just a one time activity so in your org i hope i think you you will not have digital experience checkbox enabled so just enable it and save it okay once it is get saved then you will see this window which you are seeing on my screen all right so let me proceed to next step so then you have to go go to again setup on again settings under the role and user prof, you, role and user settings section all right so as you can see role and user settings section is there same uh, same window and then you have to enable this tag box allow using standard standard external profiles allow using standard okay so i will not take much time now uh, i will share you this ppt okay everything is mentioned here in a step by step uh, manner and you can follow these steps exactly in the order which i have uh, shared which i have written here so you can uh, create your b2b commerce website in not more than two hours that is 120 minutes maximum 120 minutes you will be able to create your b2b commerce website so let me show you um, what e-commerce website how does it look like and what i have created so just uh, these are just the 20 steps as you can see this is the final step activate the store all right so this is the final step and this is my e-commerce website i have created as i told you the jewelry website so uh, you can see this is the home page all right let me move this window on the extreme corner all right so as you can see this is my website my website name is the exotic jewelry okay and uh, this is the home page so this is just i have created for the demo purpose all right so just for your information everything in salesforce can be customized all right this is the beauty of salesforce you can customize each and everything okay so that customization also i will uh, show you in the next video in my next video i will show you many more things and payment gateway integration also i will show you uh, and you can not only th there are multiple ways to create payment gateways so like there are some built-in packages in the sandbox or oh, sorry in the app exchange 
which you can download and follow the steps as mentioned in that manual. You can also, there is another method, you can also create your own uh, payment gateways. So Salesforce has provided you each and everything. There are many, many classes which Salesforce has given. So you can uh, go through them. These are available on internet. So you can go through them, try creating them. But if you are new to Salesforce B2B commerce lightning experience, then I would recommend you don't go for customization so much in the beginning. Just understand the basic concepts then slowly and gradually you can start playing around with the things and then you can slowly go for the customization. Like there are many, many things involved behind the scenes. There are flows, there are triggers, there are classes, there are uh, many configuration settings and uh, integration. So a lot of things which happens behind the scenes, okay? But uh, don't worry as of now. So this is my e uh, jewelry website the name is Exo Ex exotic jewelry all right so what i have done is i have added few products and i will show you that uh, you can select the product add that in the cart and you can proceed for the checkout okay so as you can see my the name is swarovski i have created this is the account name all right so let me show you that um, just give you an overview what is this account so as you can see on my screen let it get loaded so this is the store which i have which i am showing you on my website so store let me, i have created two stores this one is was the uh, separate store uh, this one is the exotic jewelry which i have created just now and I'm that I'm showing you showing you for the demo purpose. All right. So what you have to do is from here, see, once your commerce app gets installed, once you do these settings, which I have mentioned in this PPT, in these slides. Okay, once you set up the configuration settings, initially you have to set up some configuration settings. Then from the app launcher, once you type commerce, then once your commerce gets enabled in your org, then you will be able to view this commerce app, okay? Which I have explained here also. So don't worry, I have explained each and everything in the PPT. So now from here, what I was explaining you is, what is Swarovski? Okay. So Swarovski is basically an account, basically he is the buyer. So I am talking about B2B now, not the direct client direct customer okay so i have created a website where swarovski is one of the buyer buyer account okay you can watch my previous videos in b2b commerce i have created two or three videos before where i have also shared you the uh, schema diagram of the objects which are present in the salesforce commerce b2b commerce cloud okay so in my channel my channel name is rahul goel G O R A S U L G O E L. So you can watch my two three videos and uh, then you can proceed with this video. Okay. So as you can see, this is the Swarovski is my uh, buyer account. Means he is this account will be up will purchase some jewelry from my website. Similarly, you can create multiple accounts. Okay. So. This is the Swarovski account. Just main thing which I am telling you, uh, you can note it down, uh, that once the account gets enabled as a buyer, okay? So once the account gets enabled as buyer, then you will see this section buyer account, okay? So what I am trying to say is, There is a contact which there is a contact through which you can uh, log into the website. Getting me like you have created the account, okay? But how this account 
purchase something from my website. How this account gets login? It gets login through a content. So this is the content which I have created. Let me show you. As you can see, go down below, scroll down below, you will see the content. All right, so this Rahul Krishan, I have created myself just for demo purpose. So now this Rahul gets logged into this website. Okay. By logging into experience as user, or maybe you can, there are two, three ways uh, to log in. So uh, this contact get login. So you can see my name in there. Actually, my nickname is Bolu. So uh, that's why this Bolu is coming. And you can see below that you can go to account, or maybe I can show you from here also that if you go to this account, uh, sorry, contact Rahul Krishan. So let me search for Rahul Krishan. You will find my nickname. Okay, Rahul Krishan user. And I go to user detail. So yes, so you can see this nickname is my nickname is coming. So the main point that is to be noted is see, I told you now every user, community user, there are two types of user. One is the system admin user. So system admin user cannot log into the website. Okay. Who logs into the website? It is the community user. That's why you can see here that the profile is customer community plus user and not the system administrator. System administrator cannot view the community website. You have to create a separate user. So once you uh, enable your account as buyer account and once you enable your contact as customer contact, which I have mentioned everything in the PPT, once you read it, you will come to know. Okay. So then only, then only you can view the website. So this, this is what I was trying to say. Either you can, this is the contact. So you can log in from here also. Like I will click, uh, click here. I will open it. I'll show you. So once you uh, click on this contact, Let it get open. Because system administrator will not have this license, customer community plus. Any user who wants to log into the community, it must be having a community profile. There are two, three different profiles. We'll talk about it later, but it has to be a customer community user and has to be a customer community plus community license basically then only he can view the uh, website or a community web page okay so uh, uh, as you can see this is the contact my Rahul Krishan and once I click on login to experience as user so it will ask for uh, the website which I want to view and once I select this then again it will open that same thing same page so this is what I was trying to explain you that don't get confused there are two types of users one is the normal user who logs into the org and one is the community user who can view this website but he cannot log into the org Okay, so he will not, he cannot, this user, he cannot log into the org. This user can only view this website. All right, so that was, this is what I was trying to explain. So, um, okay, because this user, what 
how he will log in this is c now i am a system admin so now i can go i can view this page and i can go to this contact and log in as experienced user because i am now a system admin okay see i am now a system admin but ideally in real time scenario what will happen is uh, this user will not log in from this org because he is a community user okay this user will get once the user gets created he will get the uh, username and password in his email so once that user sets the password resets the password then he will log into the website by going to that link exotic jewel which will be mentioned in that email okay so uh, this is how uh, i have placed one order i will show you by placing one order so i have loaded some few sample products so once you so this is my um, one second so this is my uh, image a background image you can say or some banner image kind of stuff so this will show me all the products i have added approximately 12 products here so along with some sample prices so you can view this and these are the categories earrings so there are multiple categories earrings okay this is called a plp product listing page so if you click on any uh, category you will view the products available in that category all right so um, this is the pendant so now what suppose i want to buy anything what suppose i want to buy this uh, silver jewelry pendant what I will do is I can add to cart. I can click on this button from here also. Or I can click the product. Then it will open me the product detail page called PDP. These two terms you will keep on hearing when uh, frequently. And when you start working in the commerce cloud B2B. Okay. So as you can see, this is the image. This is the product description sorry product name this is the sku and this is the price now suppose i want to buy two quantities i will sell i can select from here also or i can go to my car i can what i can do is i can i will click add to cart i'll click on viewport all right now if suppose i want to add multiple quantities then then also I can add from here to it will automatically you can see the price has been adjusted accordingly as per the quantity. Now I will uh, go to proceed to checkout. I will click on this button. Now I will click on next. There are multiple uh, actions which are perform performed here before uh, the actual checkout has been made. Okay. So there are multiple ver uh, verifications which it does because uh, these are the mandatory steps, mandatory actions which should be performed before the actual checkout is made or performed. Okay, so this is the shipping address. Now, these all things I have configured, which I, I have mentioned in this PKT. Okay, so I'll click on next. Now you can see it was written that it is calculating tax. Okay. So basically four things are uh, performed. One is the checking of the inventory. Then checking for price. Third, checking for tax. And fourth is uh, Fourth is one, uh, let me show you. Uh, 
fourth option is uh, four things it does. So one second. Yes, shipping, inventory, tax, and pricing. So shipping, it was already sh shipping address. Okay, that is checked for the inventory. Then it calculates the tax, and then is uh, calculate the price. All right, so you can see shipping charges also it has uh, shipping charges have been uh, added here on the product. The total was two hundred dollars, as you can. I have shown you that product was for two hundred two quantities, so two hundred dollar were was added. This is the shipping charge. This is the tax. Okay, these are. These are just the sample integrations which Salesforce has uh, given using Heroku. So oh, from Heroku app, we do this sample integration. But in real time, uh, these integrations will normally be performed from some ERP system, SAP or any other ERP system. Okay. So in that case, you have to go for some customizations. So and you have to write some custom coding and all in Apex or maybe Apex and WC or whatever it is and maybe flows. Flows is very important and um, right now uh, I am showing you the just the demo for just for demo purpose but everything is done automated using flows. So you have to write flows accordingly. So I'll click on next now. I this is just for sample but in my next video i will show you uh, the payment gateway integration also i have already done that so but i am not showing in this video because it will make things more complex that is again a separate topic and it takes time so as you can see now the checkout finally has been performed successfully and your order number gets generated you can view your order and you can see the checkout summary you have purchased the item two quantities for dollar 200 okay and shipping charges these are the just sample shipping charges uh, which are by default configured in salesforce so which you can also customize accordingly have been uh, added then the tax has been added okay shipping address is this and uh, your order gets finally placed, okay? So you can view this order in Salesforce also. So what I will do is I will go to Salesforce in my org and there is an object, the standard object called order summaries. So just click here and you can see the order number is 152, okay? So what I will do is this was my previous order. I will go from here, select all order summaries. And uh, you will see this order 152 now, which was created on 10th of April at this time on US dollar 228.95. So this you can see 228.95. It is the exactly the same price. Okay, so if you click on this order number, you will get the overall details for the order that what you have purchased. So you can see that I have purchased this product silver jewelry pendants and two quantities, okay? And you can below, once you scroll down uh, on the relate details, you will get the details of this order as well. Okay, so your total amount was 200, then your shipping charges and all the adjustments were made and your final amount was 2.3895. Okay, so this is how your checkout a simple B2B commerce website in Lightning experience works. Okay, so I will stop here. There are many, many things which are present. It is just, uh, you, maybe you will find it very easy. It is easy, but behind the scenes, there are many things which are happening. So I would recommend, please watch my previous videos one, I think two videos I have posted with the name Salesforce B2B Commerce Lex 1 and 2. 
and also if you have any doubts you can post the in the comment section of this video and i will reply you there accordingly okay so uh, that's all for now and you can uh, if you click on continue shopping then it will take you to the and you can see to the home page and you can see one order i have created before and this order you can see i have created is showing in the recent order section if you want to read or reorder you can do from here also so there are many many things uh, in this uh, b2b commerce website so uh, don't worry everything everything takes some time and there is a step by step. let us go step by step on uh, then it will be better so um, that's all for now and uh, have a good night and take care thank you